The Rosetta Stone is among the world's most famous artifacts. The surviving fragment of the stone reveals an inscribed message repeated in three different scripts of Egyptian hieroglyphics, Egyptian demotic, and ancient Greek. The repeated translation allowed for Jean-François Champollion in the year 1822 to decode the meanings of these Egyptian hieroglyphics that otherwise had not been used for more than 1,000 years. People often ask how the Rosetta Stone was given its name. The answer to this question reveals clues about the history and context of the artifact. The Rosetta Stone was named for the place where French soldiers had found it in the year 1799 at Fort Rashid near the town of Rosetta, also known as El Rashid in Arabic. During the previous year, Napoleon Bonaparte had led his forces to invade Egypt, then part of the Turkish Ottoman Empire. In 1799, French soldiers reportedly found the Rosetta Stone among the stone blocks that had been used as part of the construction of Fort Rashid that the French would rename as Fort Julien. The original purpose of the Rosetta Stone was something different than being used as construction material at the fort. It came from a different place, time period, and context. One clue about the original context can be ascertained through the physical shape of the stone, even without reading the inscribed message. The stone object is one large surviving fragment of the original creation. The shape resembles an upright slab monument known as a stele. The original size probably was close to about 80 centimeters wide at the base and about 2 meters tall. Traditionally, in ancient Egyptian sites, a stele commemorated important people or events. A stele might be expected at a temple, at a royal palace, at a burial site, or at another venue suitable for a commemorative monument. This particular stele of the Rosetta Stone was inscribed with a message or a decree that commemorated the coronation of King Ptolemy V among the Macedonian kings of Egypt during the Ptolemaic dynasty. The inscription mentioned a specific date of when the stele was erected corresponding to the year 197 or 196 BC. The inscription listed the impressive accomplishments and admirable qualities of King Ptolemy V. For example, the king provided a gift of silver and grain to the temples of Egypt. During the eighth year of his reign, the king sponsored a dam to prevent flooding in a part of the Nile River that thereafter was beneficial for the farmers. The priesthood of Egypt pledged to celebrate the king annually and to worship him alongside the other gods. The inscription concluded with an instruction that a copy of the decree should be placed in every temple and inscribed in three different scripts of the language of the gods, understood as Egyptian hieroglyphics, the language of documents, understood as Egyptian demotic, and the language of the Greeks, understood as ancient Greek in this context. According to this information, the stele almost certainly was erected at a temple used during the time of Ptolemy V and located somewhere in the general orbit of Fort Rashid or the town of Rosetta. Given these criteria, the most likely candidate of the temple was at the ancient Egyptian city of Sais in the western Nile Delta. Investigations during the 1800s found no specifically definitive proof that the Rosetta Stone originally was here, yet the site context and the circumstantial evidence are consistent with this hypothesis. Today, people can see the Rosetta Stone on display in the British Museum. Several replicas have been produced as well. The Rosetta Stone continues to attract the attention of countless researchers and general public visitors. What are your thoughts about the Rosetta Stone? Please share your ideas and suggestions in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.